Good morning, everyone. I didn't ask you if you were ready. I was just like, let's <laughs> hey, go. Sorry about go. that. Lisa, Lydia, Scott, look at I didn't even like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adjust right there. Like <laughs> there it is. There we go. Now That's how good. I like it a let's little go, bit better. Let's go down a little bit. Oh, yeah. There yeah. we go. Perfect. There we go. Look at All that. right. <laughs> okay, now we can start. Good morning, everyone. That's kind of, how can it be Monday when it's Tuesday? Yeah. Because oh, I it feels, feel like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy I've Halloween, said, everyone. Yeah. Sorry, this sounds pessimistic for a second. I've said Tuesday's the worst day of the work week for years. Yeah. It Monday's okay. Like, you got some Monday motivation. It's nice to chat with you guys after the weekend. I don't mind Mondays. Wednesday's hump day. Thursday's one day away from Friday. Friday's Friday. Yeah. What's Tuesday? Uh, nothing. Thank you. I, that's my theory for a long time that Tuesday is the worst day of the And I'm feeling it. I've heard you say that too, and today yes. I'm feeling it yeah. all morning. I just feel like yeah. I've been kind of, hmm. Anyways, Being sorry. Being in the weather department too, because <laughs> yeah. it is kind of scary outside to start our Halloween off. Before we dive into the weather, let's talk about the Facebook Live. You can join us every morning from 8 to about 8 to 9. We get on here about 8, usually every morning, Monday through Friday. We also would love if you join us live on air from 5 to 7 in the morning with First News. But if you can't, you can also find this in podcast form on your favorite pod podcast platform. Just go to inform.com slash podcast. Look for the Inform Minute. Also on YouTube, go to our Inform YouTube channel as well. So we're everywhere you can find us. You know how much candy I've had this morning? I just had a Kit Kat before I walked over here. <laughs> I was like, do I have chocolate? <laughs> we get to the weather, but yesterday morning we were packing oh, up little, yeah. gift, like, little Halloween gift bags for everyone. Mm -hmm. And so this morning we've just been eating candy, Snappy. Kit Kats and yep. Skittles mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. Yeah. All right, so uh, jumping into the weather. And actually, before we even talk about the weather, can we talk about the video you were just telling yeah. us about? <laughs> yeah, so we got a video into the weather center last night. And this is something I didn't even think about. But a lot of folks decorate for Halloween. Right. And a lot of those are those big, beautiful, inflatable, sure. you know, ghosts and ghouls and goblins and so on and so forth. Didn't pair so well with a 50 mile per hour wind gust last no. night. Yeah. I didn't even think about that, but it was terrible. I can hear winter. it howling. Oh, yeah. We did get a video of this poor guy. It's like a ring doorbell camera. <laughs> He's chasing down the ghoul goblin inflatable <laughs> decoration down the street oh, because, no. man. So if you're in that situation, I'd love to hear from you. If you're, you know, on the hunt for your mm -hmm. Halloween decorations right. this How morning. How about those, like, tall skeletons, too? I don't oh, yeah. yeah, those are expensive, too. Yeah, right. Yeah. They can be, mm -hmm. for sure. I wonder how they fared in the wind. Yeah. So we had a wind gust of 47 in Fargo, 40 oh. Grand Forks, 56 miles an hour in Oaks, 58 Jeez. in Bismarck. Some really wicked winds yesterday. Not much for snow, so very impressive wind, not impressive snow. 1.2 is what we picked up in Fargo and 1.9 in Grand Forks. But like I said yesterday on First News, it takes very little of that dry, colder snow to blow around with that kind of wind and make it hard mm -hmm. to see. So we had whiteout conditions reported. We had snow squall warnings yesterday, which doesn't happen all that often. Um, and then the roads really polished up, so mm -hmm. it's icy this morning. Yeah, this Very super icy. Icy. All three of us said we had issues. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really bad in my neighborhood even, yes. and on the interstate. Yeah. Yep. I took uh, University to 13th and I was going mm -hmm. slow and the car still oh, yeah. shook loose. I felt it slide a little. Didn't like that feeling. No. no. Um, and then a couple jackknifed semis I've heard about on I-94 between Moorhead and Barnesville this morning. So really yeah. slow down. It's easy to gain confidence when you hit a spot that's not so bad. And then all of a sudden you're in a very icy spot. So bridges, yeah. intersections, on and off ramps, all going to be extra slick this morning. I have three things though that will improve it today. One, the snowfall accumulation is done. Maybe yeah. a spare flurry, but we're not adding new snow to the problem today. Two, the wind will settle down. Still a little gusty this morning. It'll turn around to the southwest, be 5 to 15 through this afternoon. So better wind on the way. Mm -hmm. Three, the sun is going to come out. And that's probably the most beneficial. Yeah. Um, we'll see some sunshine today. Not a perfectly sunny day, but at least getting a little sun. And that'll help to soften up the ice on the roads, likely turning a little slushy and maybe even sloppy later on. So something else to watch out for. Otherwise cold. We're forecasting a top 10 coldest Halloween in Ooh. Fargo wow. and a top 5 coldest Halloween in Grand Forks. Jeez. Temps in the 20s and low 30s today. Trick-or-treating will be down into the teens and 20s. Uh, luckily not too much wind. I'd head out even before sunset. That's probably going to be your best chance because once the sun goes down then obviously it's going to get yeah. even colder. Um, let's see. The rest of the week I have temps in the 30s to near 40. So heat wave. <laughs> we have some melting potential to come. Um, and then our next chance for maybe a little rain, maybe a little snow right around Friday. We'll watch that one closely. It doesn't look to be a big organized system, but with weekend, weekend travel plans, mm -hmm. maybe lots of folks headed down to Brookings for the game. We'll watch out, let you know what roads are looking like as we get closer to the weekend. But for now, just improving conditions today and then a little bit warmer for the rest of the week. 
right. Okay. We're talking about, about the roads. I don't know if we, we had that necessarily, but when we were coming in, they were icy, mm -hmm. and there were no travel advisories. Yeah, for a lot of the state. A lot of the state. Yeah, And then lot. those have been lifted, but the travel alert is still in place for most of the area, right? Yes. The purple in shade. spots. It's starting to kind of patchy get better, but... I mean, I would still not trust the roads mm. this morning. It's just, it's very slick. Yeah. Until we can get some sun on the roads, that's when I think things will start getting better. Okay. So Yeah, we come in like 2, 3 yeah, in the exactly. morning. You know, yeah, exactly. So a lot of times we drive through the worst of it. Right, so yeah. things will improve. Mm -hmm. but. I thought today's commute in was a little worse than just even the other days. Agreed. Because it was a lot icier this morning. Yes, so. yeah. yeah. Versus slushy. The yeah. other day was kind of pulling with yeah. the slush. Today yeah. it was... Yeah. A slick. Like glass. Uh -huh. so, yeah. Be careful, folks. Yes. Okay. Thank Thanks. You, Happy Halloween. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, right now, the Fargo Police Department is releasing uh, an interview with one of the officers involved in that deadly shooting that happened in July. Uh, the interview is with Officer Zach Robinson. As you may remember, Robinson responded to a car crash in Fargo with two other officers when a gunman opened fire, killing Officer Jake Walleen and critically injuring two other officers, Andrew Dotis and Tyler Haas, a story we've been tracking uh, oh, yeah. for you, of course, here on WDAY. Uh, Robinson was the officer who attempted to get the gunman to put his weapon down. He was the one who radioed in for backup when the shooting happened. Eventually, he shot the gunman, ended the threat. Uh, Fargo police expected to release that interview that they did with him after the shooting here this morning. It might be released right now. Yeah, it should it was be out right to be now. About 8 o'clock this mm -hmm. morning. So. We should be just getting that in, kind of going through it ourselves, and we'll kind of break it down so you can watch, you know, WDAY news throughout the day, also inform.com for kind of a breakdown of, of what we're learning in yeah. that interview. So and I think it's quite lengthy, so it might take us a little time to get through it all. Yeah, so of course we'll relay anything out of there that's uh, important and that kind of thing to you throughout the day. Uh, this morning we now know when a former North Dakota state senator will go to trial. 36 days from now, 79-year-old Ray Holmberg from Grand Forks will face federal charges. He's accused of traveling overseas to have sex with minors and then also receiving child pornography. Holmberg has already pleaded not guilty to these charges in federal court. However, we learned the indictment, which was unsealed this week, accuses Holmberg of traveling to the Czech Republic, specifically Prague, from 2011 to 2016 with the intention of having sex with minors. It also didn't include, though, how many children or their ages. It also says from 2012 to 2013, he would receive or try to receive child porn. Holmberg was arrested, but not booked into jail. He's on supervised release, not allowed to leave the Grand Forks area. Also cannot have contact with anyone under the age of 18. Uh, just one week after being appointed, the chair of the North Dakota Republican Party is now stepping down. David Rotman of South Dakota was hired to lead the NDGOP after Samantha Hawley resigned. The political ad advocate, ad activist rather from South Dakota is now facing criticism for his posts on the website X, formerly known as Twitter, on the social platform X. Uh, some of those comments include uh, derogatory comments about women, including a post where he, he said, quote, here is a quarter, keep it between your knees. Um, he had also liked a post saying women should not vote. Rotman says he believes stepping down is the best path forward for the North Dakota GOP. Uh, President Joe Biden will be in Minnesota tomorrow to visit a farm. It's a part of a series of stops he's making in rural areas throughout the U.S. The White House is calling the trip the Investing in Rural America event series. And we are still working to learn exactly where he's going to be. But we do know he's coming to Minnesota and he's bringing with him, among others, U.S. Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack uh, along on that trip. All right, it's Halloween. Yes, it uh, is. So a lot of kids, uh, we talked about your Halloween forecast, planning on doing some fun stuff. There are a couple of scary, mm -hmm. scary, scary good fun family <laughs> yeah. events that we want to tell you about. Probably more than one. I'm just going to run down here. Um, uh, in Moorhead, two events that you can head out to tonight. The first is a Monster Mash Trunk Retreat at the Moorhead Center Mall. It'll be in the parking ground from 5 to 7. Uh, there's also going to be a Trunk Retreat happening at MSUM's campus. That's going to be in the G1 parking lot, which is on the corner of 9th and 14th Avenue South. Trick-or-treating, face painting, also a haunted trailer that's happening mm. from 5 to 7. And another one, another trunk-or-treat event is happening in Dilworth tonight at the Community Center from 5 to 7.30. You can play games, paint pumpkins, and of course, get treats. Those trunk-or-treat events have really become popular yes. over the last several years. And that's where you can go get a lot of candy in and one not spot. Have to, yeah, so not have to go very far. I can see why. And but. Uh, among those things, of course, we want you to have fun tonight for Halloween, but also make sure you stay safe. So here's just some tips. I know we kind of go over these things every year, but it never hurts to have a reminder. 
It's gonna be cold out tonight, so bundle up. I know it might ruin your costume a little bit, but you'd rather be warm and not get frostbite than have the best costume, I guess, in my opinion. But uh, just bundle up. Uh, you also make sure that you uh, go a little earlier to just avoid some of those slippery spots in the dark, specifically on the sidewalks while you're walking. You can avoid all the cars driving at night that could potentially not see you. If you're going out after dark, bring a flashlight so that you can light your way and that other people can see you. Also wear some of that, you know, maybe some reflective colors on your costume so that it reflects the light. Um, and then of course, talking about that candy, it can uh, be tough to abstain and wait till you get home, but make sure you wait till you get home to eat any of that candy, inspect it, make sure there's nothing weird or crazy in there. You just never know what someone might do because uh, especially if, if you have young children who can't do it themselves. Absolutely. A big national story, although it kind of has a local twist too because you can buy the eye drops here. Mm -hmm. uh, the FDA is warning people not to use more than two dozen eye drop products due to the possible risk of serious infection. That could cl include losing your vision, mm. complete yeah. blindness, pretty serious infection. The products are actually marketed under several brands including CVS Health, Rite Aid, uh, Target Up and Up brands as well. Investigators found unsanitary conditions in the manufacturing facility where critical drug production areas tested positive for bacteria. And we checked this morning, some of those products were sold here locally. Yeah. CVS and Target, both in Fargo and Moorhead. So if you're using these eye drops, if you use eye drops, you might want to take a closer look at what you're using and double check mm -hmm. to make sure that these are not the ones that are, are uh, being recalled and people are being told not to use. Yeah, that's right. All right, today on Hot Mike with Don Mizzo, they're talking about how did South Dakota State get so good so quickly? Kyle Emanuel joins the show. He's going to try to answer that question along with a full breakdown of the big Dakota marker game coming up this weekend, Bison versus Jackrabbits and Brookings. Plus, with it being Halloween, a yearly tradition returns with the Izzo candy rankings being unveiled. Uh, what will grab the top spot? I wonder what Dom thinks. I know, I was wondering. Lydia, of, do you know what Dom's favorite I, candy I could, is? I could see it being some obscure candy for um, some Yeah, reason. it's something not normal. I was just going to say, I don't know. So, what, what is your favorite? I'm going to go like Twix. I think Twix or Kit Kat are pretty solid I'd options for me. i say Snickers maybe. Oh, yeah, those are solid. I, I like Milk Duds. They're Ooh. not my favorite, but they Reese's were in my candy oh, bag. Right. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Peanut Butter Cups. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter cups. Yeah, okay. those are good I was too. mocked at home. Apparently, Milk Duds are not. Milk Duds and Rolos are not popular with my kids. <laughs> They're old people candy, apparently. I thought like that would you be like circus me. peanuts or like, yeah, <laughs> with, like black licorice. Oh, I don't know. It was goodness. in the mix of eggs, but Snickers would be my go-to for yeah. sure. So. I like all the chocolatey things. I'm not as much for the, like, gummy caramel. things. Oh, yeah. I like so. anything with chocolate and caramel. So, all right. Join Dom on Hot Mike <laughs> today from 9 to 11 to find, find out. Find out his favorite. Yeah, exactly. we got to know what Dom's favorite candy, candy is. You can watch it on WDIY Extra and Inform.com. Uh, remember, right now is a great time to get your Inform.com subscription. 99 cents a month for your first three months. Go to Inform.com slash subscribe to get that deal. And join us for our next newscast coming up here at 11 o'clock. And we have you covered on your Halloween night for all these spooky oh, details. Wow. <laughs> you never know. Spooky forecast, maybe scary, oh, icy conditions. Yeah. Hopefully improved. 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10 tonight for more WDAY news. And then First News is uh, back tomorrow morning from 5 to 7. So you can tune in then for all your latest news and weather headlines. Until then, have a great day, folks. Stay safe.